All right, so we're in Azure. We're uh, logged in. This is the portal.azure.com. This is not Azure Machine Learning Studio like you're used to using in this class. So just note the difference here. What we want to do, though, is uh, we'll worry about creating. So we want to build out an entire machine learning environment in here, one piece at a time. So at this point in the class, we're not going to finish the whole thing, but we're going to start it. Let's at least get our website built, and then we'll later add our uh, SQL Server database, and we'll um, we're already hooked into our Azure Machine Learning Studio API. So uh, let's go to App Services, and let's make a new one. I'm going to get rid of my, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of my old one that we made. And, uh, well, no, I'll save it there for now. Let's just start a new one. And here's all of our different options. We've got uh, web apps plus SQL, some extra stuff built in to make that simple, but you can still use a right blank web app and add a connection to a SQL Server database. Anyway, lots of pre-built um, um, uh, content management systems in here too. Let's create, I don't want to put any code. If I, here, if I, even if I add this ASP.NET empty web app, it's kind of like going to Visual Studio and building an ASP.NET project. It'll add all those files, and I don't want all those um, right now. Um, what I, all I want is an empty site, and because I've already created my project, and I just want to upload it. So let's create this. It says, okay, you got a bunch of stuff to add in here. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call this um, IS415 uh, Section 0, because in class I'm going to do Section 1 and 2. Uh, winter, no, no, we're in fall 18. That's a really ugly name, but that's okay. I can just copy paste that later on. Subscription, I don't use my credit card. I want to use my new Azure for Students subscription. So this is what you'll be using. So we'll make a new resource group right here for this one. Um, yep, that'll work actually, but I don't need my section zero anymore. I'm just going to call this IS415 fall 18. Perfect. This will be on Windows. Um, uh, we're not going to use containerization. We'll stick with Code publishing, application insights. I'm going to leave that all blank for now, um, and create. So let that validate. I'll pause while this finishes. Okay, so this is still going. Validation successful. I just want to point out here your task list. So it says it's still uh, deploying this new web app. So we'll just keep waiting for now. Okay, it is all done. Deployment succeeded. Let's go to resource. Now I can always just find it by coming back here to app services again. Yeah, that's fine. And come on. Okay, maybe I need to first go to it right here. IS415. Not sure why that didn't show up right here. To subscription, eh, whatever. Okay, not sure why that had such a. It'll it'll show up a little later. They, they always do. So from here, I'll just click here to go to resource. So we have a lot of cool information here. Um, lots of different properties, application settings. Here's my URL for my live website. Um, FTP information. Let's use this to go ahead and uh, deploy. Um, well, we can do it either through FTP or through Microsoft Special Upload to Azure System. So let me show you what I mean here. Let's go back to our. Uh, uh, web app here and I'm going to close this out close this out and I lost my starter page I bet I can find it again in solution no, probably somewhere here under view let's see here let me pause and find it. here it is found over here under connected services so over in your solution explorer double click this one so uh, cloud stores with Azure yeah yeah what we want to do is publish so let's publish your app to Azure, another host. Perfect. Um, uh, let's not do continuous delivery for now. Let's just do this one. So app service. Uh, we can also inf uh, put in our FTP information right here. I'm going to go Azure Virtual Machines. Uh, let's select existing. Let's see what this options this gives us. Okay, perfect. So here's the account that I'm using. And you've got to re-enter. You've got to enter in your info if you're not already. Uh, logged in right there. So I'm going to sign into the same account whoops, that I was using that I was logged in as for my Azure portal. Make sure that's the same. Okay, while well, that's thinking, I already have an account. Okay, come on, keep thinking. All right, there we go. So now it should automatically pull up my subscriptions. Nope, I want my Azure for students. Huh, I'm not sure what the difference is there. 
Let's try this one. There we go. That's what I want. There's my app that I want to publish to. Okay. I think it's, think, there we go. Yep. Okay. Let's just let this continue to think for a second. Maybe I'll pause it while it finishes here. Okay, now it popped up the default web page for the site. Now remember, back here, we named that page we were working on default.aspx. Now I know for my students, you're used to working in MVC, and so you don't have individual pages like default.aspx. But if you remember all the way back to IS201, you learned that um, file names, if it's not using MVC, file names like default or index.whatever are automatically pulled up as the home page. So Back here, here we go. It automatically pulls up now for this new live website we've created, the default.aspx page we made. Let's go ahead and double check that it, our call that we made previously is still working um, to uh, our API in Azure Machine Learning Studio. All right, predict. Cool, 26% chance that we're going to purchase a bike. There we go. So that's it for this video, just showing you how to publish a website you've created that calls an Azure Machine Learning Studio Predictive API to a live Azure portal uh, free website.